Hey friends, maybe, like me this week, you weren't able to find Easter eggs to die. We could find eggs, but they were just the brown kind, which is fine, those are good, but they're not great for Easter egg dying. So, I decided to remind you of some things that we've done in the past when we've celebrated Easter together on Sundays, um, where you can color your own Easter eggs. And even if you have white eggs at home, you can still make these and hang them up and stuff. Uh, it's pretty simple. All I have is some shaving cream and some food dye or some paint and some marbles and we're gonna use these things to dye some Easter eggs. I have a paper bag too on the table just to protect the table from all the paint that I have. I just cut these out of white paper, just plain printer paper and they don't have to be perfect. Just like an egg shape or maybe some crosses or anything else you want to decorate. And with the shaving cream, we just put some shaving cream in a pan. You can just use a baking pan or a box or whatever you have. And then I put a little food dye, a little food coloring on top of it. I already put some blue and some purple in there. And now I'm going to put some pink in. Oh, and we got to make sure we put the lid on, otherwise we get real messy. And then you can spread it around. I'm just going to use a fork, but you could use a toothpick or a popsicle stick or a stick, whatever you want. It's so nice outside right now. You could probably do this outside. So I'm going to use that stuff and then I'm going to take my paper egg and I'm just going to kind of drag it across like that. And I'm going to let that sit for a minute and then I'm going to use a paper towel and I'm going to wipe off this shaving cream and we'll see what colors left. So I'm going to put it on my paper bag and I'm going to show you the marble stuff. We've done this a lot in Sunday school and stuff just because it's a fun thing to do. I like doing it even though I'm a grown up. It's just a fun thing. You can take marbles, you can take toy cars, you could even go outside and put some paint on your bike tires or your skateboard and try this. You just need a little paint. You put some on the thing and next to the thing that you're going to be painting. So I already put an egg in there and I just had blue and red paint so I put those in there. Then you take your marbles or your cars or whatever you've got and you just roll it around. Oops! Be careful. If one gets loose make sure you clean it up. But you just roll it around as much as you want and there you've got a painted egg pretty fun and it doesn't matter how messy it looks because that's part of what makes it look really cool is all the colors together all right so now I'm gonna take my egg assistant Elijah could you get me a paper towel I forgot my paper towels guys you want to have your paper towels next to you so that you're not making a big mess walking around your house with a shaving cream painted egg no just tear off a paper towel it's fine just a piece. I just need a small piece or a big piece. Whatever. Thank you, Assistant Elijah. We just need a little bit of paper towel right now. We're just going to wipe some of this shaving cream off. We can wipe it right back in. You can even scrape it on the side of the pan. And see, once you start wiping away the shaving cream, you get a nice little dyed egg and you can use whatever colors you want I just used the colors I had and the shaving cream looks pretty fun too and you can reuse the same shaving cream on more eggs you can make lots and lots of eggs in your house and dye as many as you want and if your paper is thin like mine you might not want to let the shaving cream sit on as long as I did because then it tore a little bit so you got to wipe it off a little bit sooner but you can see you get some fun dyed Easter eggs without actually having any real eggs in your house. And you can hang them up. You can hang them in your windows to cheer up your neighbors. You can do all kinds of things with them. And you know what? Even if we don't have eggs and even if we can't come together at church this week to celebrate, we can still celebrate, right? Because the good news of Jesus coming back for us, the good news of what he did for us from his love is good news every day especially on days like these. It tells us that when things look really bad, like they did for Jesus when he died, the story's not over. God's always got more to 
to tell us. God's always got more ways to show us his love, and that's what he showed us on Easter in big, big ways. So our story is not over. We will get back together to celebrate someday, won't we? And we'll have a great Easter celebration then. But for now, we can figure out fun ways to celebrate at home too. I hope you guys have some fun celebrating this week. I miss you guys a whole lot, and hopefully we'll see you soon.